Shoot him again. Shoot him again. Okay, what? Okay, just he's down there. Yep. Just stay on him there. You hit him very good that first one, eh? Yeah. Okay, just just fill your mag up there. Okay. Just fill your magazine. That is a big bull, man. Well done. Thank you, sir. Great shooting, Justin. Great shooting. Jeez, man, you smoked him. Both sides. Monstrous bosses. Really nice widespread. That's a really good bull. 
That's a big boss, eh? Jeepers. Well, Justin, we worked hard for this bull. We did. We saw them this morning and um, waited, waited all afternoon. We had our track up on the mountain. We watched them. Eventually, they started to feed again. And we made a nice sneak in. Yeah. Came from a little dam wall above, above us here and just popped over. And there he was. And we had to wait for him to give us a good chance. Yeah. Probably about half an hour, 45 minutes almost. Yeah. Close calls with some yeah, cows. some cows nearly busted us a couple of times, and but what an unbelievable bull! A great bull, Justin, and really good shooting, man. Well done. That was really a top class hunt, Appreciate and a pleasure it. to hunt this buffalo with you, man. You as well. You did a good job. Awesome. Well done. Right, Brian, it's day three. We've come up into the mountains here in search of an eland. Bright and early start. Got a little bit of a easterly wind coming into our faces. Just spotted a bull out back here in this little draw. The wind isn't ideal, so we might have to make a plan and move around him to see if we can get there. But so far, so good. We've had a great start to the safari. You've got a beautiful sable down, beautiful old hearted beast. So let's see if we can add an eland to the bag. Have a look at this, Brian. This is an Elon bull. Jeez. I mean, he has got everything. That dark tuft that we look for, big dewlap, beautiful gray shoulder. 
he's just a, a beautiful bull. I mean, we saw these bulls from 500 yards out. The wind was right, got into a good position, made a stalk. Unfortunately, they just kept feeding in the bush and we had to wait for close to an hour. And eventually he stepped out, you put a beautiful shot on the front of his shoulder. You can be very, very proud of this. Yeah, she's a beauty. Plan, can you see a plan for us there or not? We just quickly have a look at the lay of the land here, but uh, the where he is there, you know, you might be able to sneak through that, through the rose reed and uh, get to him, you know. Give that one a skip, not the right situation.
stupid. Yep. I'm going to take him on the point of that shoulder. Okay, great shot. He loads down him, he's gone down. You smoked him, my man. Just watch him there a little bit. Okay, we'll touch him back. Beautiful animal there. Eh? Yeah. Feel that? Feel that? Feel that? Feel that? How smooth it's skinny. Okay, Eric, well, this morning we, we went out early. It's actually a beautiful day. We've been looking for some buffalo and uh, on our way to check another area and um, happened to bump into these uh, Impala rams, yeah? And luckily they, they gave us a little chance so that we could make a nice little sneak up on them. And um, you made a really good shot about 200 yards off the sticks and you absolutely smoked him. What do you think about that? Best trip ever. <laughs> Congratulations, Thanks, Eric. buddy. Appreciate okay. it. Well done, man. Beautiful. Come and check it. Check what this guy just spotted. Just above this, you see this little green tree in front of us? Just above it. <laughs> hey, you got eyes pointed. Nice to be up in the mountains today. It is. When we were way at the bottom, we've already seen some eagles. Uh -huh. so, um, there, were, there were three bulls there. One was a very nice, long, younger bull, but he was still fully mature. Uh -huh. The other one was an ancient bull, yeah. really an old boy. And they, they were just at 350, just cresting, you know, so it's a little far. Yeah. Um, but there is a road that goes up around the mountain. And I think we should just walk up that road slowly and get to the top and we should catch them on the plateau there. Perfect. Get the sun for me, can't see him. Really standing broadside. That's a beautiful bull, well done. Thanks, man. He came out of nowhere, man. Better That's be safe sure. than sorry. Oh, yeah. You don't want him to go any further uphill. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> if he was going downhill, we would have let him go. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Oh, that's up. <laughs> <laughs> right in the back of that big rock. Yeah, I know. <sighs> what have we done? What'd you do? <laughs> what a horrible idea. Horrible idea. <laughs> Thank you, H, for spotting him. Well done, man. Good job, buddy. Good big old bull. Yeah, look at that bull. That is an old blue bull. That's what we call the blue eland bull. Big, what a tough, cool animal. Very thick, thick horns. Pronounced ridges, you know? Yeah. And he's worn down. Look how much he's worn down the tips of his horns. Yeah. Here. And That's the blue cool. color, big dewlap, dark face. 
Yeah. And this is really special, you know, the length of these of this hair, yeah? Yeah. The tuft as we refer to it. Extra special. Yeah. So, everything you're looking for in an eland. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful bull. Thank now you, sir. Now the work starts. Yeah. Very, very nice. <laughs> a lot of work there is. It's yes, a good thing. Very nice. Beautiful. Oh. See how hard he is at the base? I do, you? yeah. He's got those white ridges mm -hmm. and a very good sweep. That's what makes him special. He's got a very good hook. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah, a lot of bulls, they'll open up mm -hmm. and be like straight forward. Yeah. But sometimes you get bulls that are just pointing inwards, but they're fully mature, you know? Yeah. And that's exactly what this is. And he really scores well with those hooks, so. Yeah. That's a great boot. Good job. Good shooting, man. That Thanks, was a fun sir. hunt. Well done. As you can see, another good, successful hunt. Nice big water buck. Uh, we shot an eland about 400 yards, 500 yards that side of the canyon. And we saw a nice water buck go up over the top, so we proceeded to hike up. Got back on him. We were in about within about 30 yards, 40 yards. Stepped out from in back of the bush and made a good, nice, clean shot on him. Really nice bull, very pleased. To the mountains here to in search of these mountain monarchs before 8 30 we found this unbelievable bull so we got down got set up and made a perfect shot justin that's a, it's a really a world-class eland this the age that he had that he has and you know you can see how he's becoming blue just a pure sign of age that right there so that's what we look for in eland and and then right after that we managed to find a, a water buck pull up on the top there just a blessing to be able to hunt quality animals like these in these mountains and a great, great time hunting with you, Justin. So well done, man. Good job. Thank you. Very, very Appreciate nicely it. done.
step again And it's just so damn cold out here I can see my family breath I'm a little nervous and i come down And the last time Well, Brian, we're back in the mountains again this morning. Mm. Bright, early start. It's quite a chilly morning. At the moment, we're in the deep valleys, searching for waterbuck and kudu. And we're going to just take a little stroll down the path here and hopefully bump into an old waterbuck bull that we can make a good shot on. Let's see what we get. Sounds good. Jeez, that is a perfect, perfect shot. He's got everything you want, really. Check how wide he goes. <laughs> he's a beauty. Check how he's smooth and he's obviously broken this off over time. Yeah, it's nice and smooth at the back. Round old points, yeah. Congratulations, awesome. are you happy? Yes, sir. Great, check the neck on this guy. Well, Brian, we started off nice and early this morning. It was a cold morning. Yep. Decided to head down this little ravine in search of a water buck. And uh, as we were walking, looking into the sun, and we saw this bull standing on the side of the hill, he saw us first, walked into the, into the bushes, and you made a, a beautiful shot that counted. You must have run 50 yards. And here he is, an absolute stud of a bull. Yeah, he's He's got everything you look for. He's got that beautiful thick neck. He's got an old Roman nose, flaring tips, uh, you can be very, very proud of this guy. Yeah, she's a beast. Thank you. Congratulations.
here he's facing to the left. Yep. That's the one. Take him with a good shot. Ah, oh, you've hit him. Strong as you. Strong as you then. Ah, oh, he's done. Thank you. <laughs> good shooting. Appreciate good shooting. It. Well done. Wow. That worked well, eh? Ah, oh, uh, you won't. He's done. He won't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, when they die, they bristle up like that, and and uh, and you can see they've actually, you know, passed away. And in the deserts, and that, that's how they actually catch the water. They actually bristle up and they stand with their backsides into the mist, and then the mist settles on their on their hair follicles, and then they lick lick the mist off, and then they can go, you know, without drinking water for a long time. Eh? Yeah, huh. very into, very cool animal actually. Very cool animal. Yeah, nice old bull. Nice solid all the way. Beautiful. The facial markings are actually they're really beautiful so are animals. They different? Are they a bit Pretty much the same, same they are. Pretty much the same. Yes. Beautiful yes. animal. Eh? Good shooting. Well done. Thank you. Beautiful. You're the man. Well done. Appreciate it. You great made coaching. a great shot. Perfect shot on him, eh? Beautiful, man. Beautiful morning, good condition for kudu hunting. But this is the place, I mean, these kind of valleys that we're hunting below us here. This is exactly where these big bulls hide. It's quite far, 
so I can't tell exactly how big he is, but he's got nice forward looking tips, you know, fully mature. I'd like to go and have a closer look at him because he's a, he looks like a very nice bull, you know. Um, he's just feeding up that uh, bush line there, basically, towards the dam. Uh, so we'll, we'll, I'll see if I can see him now. We're going to go straight down here, just around the side hill, and just tuck down in the bottom there. Oh, we saw a few bulls today. Yeah. Just as we were, we were kind of about to set up, and then something busted, busted us. Yeah. That's what I'm hunting, eh? <laughs> Where she goes. Yeah, well, there's always next year, so. Yep, we will be back. We will be back, man. Yeah, 100%. What a pleasure hunting with you, man. Yeah, you as well. What a pleasure. It's been a long time coming. It's what a pleasure to have you guys in camp and I can't believe it's the last day of the hunt, but the first day of a fantastic safari that's still, still to follow. Wish you all the best in Cape Town and enjoy the experience and it's been awesome to have you guys in camp. Great animals and yeah, you guys have shot some incredible trophies. So, uh, and from the team, thank you very much for supporting us and coming all this way. It's been an absolute pleasure, so cheers. Cheers, cheers, guys, cheers.
arms inside the ride at all times. That's what you're saying. Let go of the silver handbars, the floor you are standing on will be rotating. Yes!
Thank you very much, guys, for a brilliant week in Cape Town. I know it's followed a, a brilliant week out in the bush, and uh, these two weeks have honestly been one of my favorite hunts for the year. And uh, we've left here with great friends, and hope to see you guys in the near future. So, cheers to you all. Cheers. cheers. cheers.